everybody, welcome back. In this week's video, I'm going to, I got a new compressor. My, I had a little pancake compressor that I've had for, I don't even know, 10 years, 15 years, I don't even know, long time. Porter cable, uh, pancake, you know, whatever, five gallon, whatever it is. Um, finally, you know, the pressure relief valve went, then this went, then that went, then the, okay, well, anyway, it's gone. So anyway, I, I went to, um, Harbor Freight I picked up a Fortress. They have these Fortress ultra quiet compressors. You got to hear these things are really, really quiet. But what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to attempt to hook up the ultra quiet to the old pancake container. That way I have extra capacity. I don't really use a lot of air. You know, maybe I'll blow something off once in a while, I'll fill up a tire. I have some nail guns. I really don't use them. I mean, I use them, but not like, you know, not like a furniture builder or something like that or whatever. But anyway, that's what we're going to do this week. Um, hope you stick around and watch. So here's the old tank. I stripped it down. Here's the new, it's only a one gallon fortress. I'll let you listen to that in a little while. Here's some stuff I picked up that I think I might need. Some couplings, some... Uh, male coupling, some female couplings, a T, um, a little valve, and an adapter, and a little pressure thing, and some hose, things like that. Well, that's everything, and um, I'm going to try to put it all together, see if it works. All right, it's all done. I'm gonna show you everything here. Obviously that's the new compressor, which I'm gonna let you hear in a minute. I tested it, I filled it up, it, uh, it works fine. This is what I did on the old tank. I had to put a new uh, 
pressure cock on the bottom here. I put this T. I put this T. That way I could have a line coming in from the new compressor and then out to the to whatever you want. I bought one of these splitters here. So I could just plug that in here and I could attach any hoses I want. I put the pressure relief valve. This tank is um, rated for a lot higher pressure than the new tank. But like I said, I don't use a lot of air. So these, this setup should be more than adequate for what I do. But I want you to hear this compressor. You're not going to believe how quiet it is. So what I'll do is I'll hook up this tank, which has a little bit of air because I was testing it. Hook up the new, now ready for this? You're going to have to listen. That's it running. I don't know if you've ever heard these pancake compressors before, but, and this is not, you can hear my voice, right? I'll get you a little closer so you can actually hear. When you hear me talk, I'm just talking in a normal tone. So I'm very happy with how quiet it is. And my setup seems to be working pretty good. gonna take a while to fill up. I'll cut back when it's full. Okay. Right now I just have this tank on like 60 pounds of pressure or whatever. Just to give you an idea. Blow something more. Plenty of air. That's it, it's working great. Well, well, thank you guys for watching this. Um, I hope it was helpful to somebody. I'll now I'll mount that back up on my in my ceiling attic there and I'm actually talking over the compressor right now, which was never possible with my old one. Uh, it's, I mean, it's a little more money than their other stuff, but to me, I think it was worth it. Anyway, thanks for watching.